Hi guys, welcome Scatlink and Blue Hedgehog Man 17. Uh, we are here for a Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time versus race. We are going to be racing this game to see who's the best, like no one ever was, and we are going to be pretty much going for well, the entirety of the game, except for 50 gold score tillers and all the pointless chests. This is going to make the race a little bit interesting, because as we're not going to go for all the 100 gold skull tillers, because, you know, getting infinite rupees is absolutely pointless, it will actually change up on how our race is going to go. And I hope you like the little snazzy intro that we had to not only promote this versus, but also a shortened version to start off every episode, just to spruce things up a little bit, because why not? Courtesy of me. But it was Blue Hedgehog's man idea that we should actually do this. All right, so, all right. all right, I'm going to the file selection screen, right? Yep, we're about right, to start so, this race. All right, here we go. Wait, what's your full name before we begin? Okay, well, since there's no room to put my full name, and alternatively I could have put uh, the word Sonic, since I'm a... I'm a pretty good, I'm a pretty decent Sonic fan, hence my YouTube name. I just put the initials of my username, and that's what I'm going to call my file. So, B B H M 17 B for Blue, H for Hedgehog, M for Man. Yeah, there's not, I do not see many people actually put numbers in their file name in Zelda games, so that's quite unique, to be honest. Me? My name is Lank. <laughs> I knew that would get a chuckle out of you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god. L let me guess. Okay, Lank because because someone is lanky or <laughs> Lank because of Lanky Kong and Donkey Kong 64? Nothing to do with that. It's what I call Link when I'm playing Smash. It's, it's just Lank. Oh. <laughs> so well, I, I, I guess that makes sense. Considering Link is who you mainly use in Super Smash Brothers, so yeah. Alright, so we're gonna hit yes. I'm hitting yes now, is that okay? Alright, okay, so we're gonna count from 3 to 1, right? Yep. Alright, so 3, 3, 2, two 1. 1, now. Go. Haha! <laughs> So, while we're just mashing A through this entire intro, I'm using my Smash Power A Plus controller. That's the Switch controller that's got the Zelda bevels and the interchangeable analog sticks. Not that bloody PS2 nonsense I had during Chaos Edition, or Super Mario 64 Chaos Edition, 64 Online, uh, 64 Multiplayer, all the 64s. Using an actual controller that's pretty much in the similar shape to an Xbox controller, so... I do not foresee any issues with me. What controller are you using? Well, I'm actually using... I'm not using any controller. I'm going to actually... I'm going to actually use my keyboard, for my laptop's keyboard, since I don't really... I don't, I don't see any point in using my, my controller, because... Um, if I were to use my Xbox 360 controller, the, the good part about it is that is that I would have slightly better controls in in the game. So I figured it would be best to use the uh, my laptop's keyboard. Hmm. Well, I know this, but just so the folks know, you do have controllers for PC, right? By the way, guys, we are playing on emulator. So it's fair, because then it, the performance is always the same. Right, right, because we're, we're, we're both playing on Project 64, because that's how we did it for Super Mario 64 Online, because you, you use your PlayStation 2 controller, and, well, I use my Xbox 360 controller, so there you go. Now, I had bought my Xbox 360 controller before uh, Christmas 2017, and I used it to record my gameplays of Super Mario... 64 Last Impact, and also Super Donkey Kong 64, so there you go. Yeah, so um, as we said, this race is going to be basically 100%, but we're only going to get half the gold skull tillers, not all 100, and any pointless chests that contain shields, money, items, or hearts, or even the, the map and the compass, they don't matter. 
that, I mean, if you want to get them, or if you just get them out of habit, that's fine. But that's not, uh, like, integral to winning. Only 50 gold skull tillers, and everything else is needed in order to actually win the race. Problem is, I do have a controller, so I have, like, you know, the ability to do the quick spin pretty easily and have better aiming. But Blue over here has actually practiced mapped out his route for Gold Skull Tillers and I haven't, so this could be really interesting. Hello. I'm in the, uh, yeah, I'm, that, I'm about that, to see Link wake that, up, by that the way. Kinda, that kinda makes sense. Um, <laughs> I mean, and... Yeah, so... I, I just want to say this, I just want to say this. Um, having played this game on the Project 64 emulator, I've played this game well enough on the keyboard that... It's, it's the reason I don't really need to use my Xbox 360 controller, so there you go. Hmm. Right, Link's just waking up right now, so I have just enough time to squeeze this in as well. Every episode at the time that we say go to start the actual race off, once we're all synced up and whatnot, as soon as we said go, like when starting up our files, every episode goes on for 30 minutes and then we stop. Unless one of us is in a cutscene where we can't pause and hit the save. By the right, way, I'm right. already walking out of my house. Yeah, yeah, or 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 it could or it could get to the point that where one of us is battling a boss, and we may have to ex extend the half-hour recordings until we defeat that boss. So there you go. Yeah, that's fair. Because otherwise, you have to make it all the way back to the boss or start the boss from the beginning. Because when you save and quit in a boss fight, you have to do it all again when you reload. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. I mean, we do have save states, but we want to back up our files with the hard save just in case, so... Yeah, because that's, that's how we had to do it for uh, for Super Mario 64 Online, to make sure that nothing went wrong during recording. I mean, in case things did go wrong, then we would start recording from scratch and yada yada yada. So, yeah. You are moving, right? Yeah, yeah, right. N okay, the, it, it just got to the cutscene where Link and Saria met, so now I'm just gonna collect some rupees so I can. I'm already at the Kikiri. <laughs> I'm already at the Kikiri sword. Oh, wow. I'm winning already. Wow. <laughs> actually, I, I I was actually going to um buy the Deku shield first, so. Oh, wow. We already have different strategies, and we're only just starting. Yeah, um, I need to equip this thing. There we go, Kiri Sword already. For some reason, Link's not in yeah. the box, that don't matter. Oh well. So I'm already a little bit ahead. I mean, what's your frame rate at the bottom of your screen? My frame rate do does say 60. I'm recording at 30 though, because... Okay, I well, I, I don't think I'm exactly at 60. I think I'm, a bit, uh, I'm at about 56, 7 around there. Oh, well, it keeps flickering between 60 and 59 for me. It, is that an issue? I mean, what version of the game are you playing on? I'm playing on version 1.2. Uh, I mean, the game's version, not... Um... Oh, okay, okay. well, I, I'm playing I'm playing 1.0 on, on the, uh, the the ROM. The, the 1.0 ROM, so... Which, which, in, which in turn... Oh. Yeah, because, let's see, this is the version that's supposed to have the... The, the deleted parts before the game was redeveloped and re-released, so... Ah, right. Because, for instance... Wait, so... The, because the, the, the blocks and the Gyarados symbol are supposed to represent the Turkish flag in, in this version, so... Yeah. Yeah, I always thought of it as the Islamic symbol for some reason. I mean, that might be another reason why, because it's the moon with the star. But they've got, like, their own version of the Gerudo symbol now. Or they've, uh, but that's what the Gerudo symbol is. Yeah, uh, can you tell me about your frame rate again? Is it, like, hovering around 4950? Because mine keeps hovering around 5960. Um, of course, we're both my, recording in 30 my, for the purpose my, of editing. My, video, my, my frame rate should be roughly the same. If, if, if you're talking about what I'm, the software that I'm using, which is OBS, then, then that's a 30 frame. No, I'm not talking about that at all. Okay, yeah, you're yeah, talking about the game. Yeah, as well. you and I should roughly be the same on the game right now. Hmm, because I got through the intro faster than you. Then again, I was mashing the button throughout the whole lot, so oh. I was saving frames. Oh, I don't know. wow! So you were you were repeatedly mashing the buttons, and that's why you're ahead of me. Wow, you're so you're kind of cheating me out already, asshole. But that's not my fault. I was just mashing A because it's text that I'm not reading. 
I was just where mashing the... A throughout the entire point. Where the hell am I going? So, Jeez. I don't... Damn it, I'm... 11 rupees short. Okay. Oh, I know I can get some fast cash. Okay, I'm up, I'm up to Damn 34 man. right now. You got more money than I have, but I've got the sword, so... Okay. Aha! Alright, one more, one more rupee should be... Should get me the Deku Shield. I'm up to 39. Oh yeah, just for, as we were just discussing frame rate, which we should have, t to be honest, discussed before we recorded, that was a bit of a blunder on my part. But we're both, uh, I believe we're both using Project 64 version 1.6. No, no. I'm using 2.1. It's the same version of Project 64 that I use for Super Mario 64 online. Oh, well, I'm using 1.6, was, which was the same version I used for 64 online. So, eh. I don't think that means you got a better emulator than I have in a way. So I don't know. Okay. Oh well, I seem to be having quite a problem with it now because I'm getting mixed, messed up graphics. Not in this game, but in some of the other games. Because I tested Diddy Kong Racing with this ROM, with this uh, version of the emulator, and for some reason there's some messed up graphics going. I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know. Sounds like in the good old days when I was messing about with the beta worlds of Ocarina of Time on old emulators, the sky became Link's eyes. I think I've talked about that before during Chaos Edition. It was a creepy thing. And then it just kind of killed the emulator. It would never boot up ever again. So I had to re-download re a ROM because I thought the bad ROM caused the issue. And I had to re-download the emulator because it killed the emulator. And it was like, strange, man. By the way, I've got my shield now, so I'm heading toward the Deco Tree. Oh, okay. Wow, so you're you're already ahead of me because you got the sword first. Okay, I just bought the shield. I just got it. Oh my god. See, I, I'm already experiencing some bad graphics going on right now. I don't know why that is. I mean, it, it's got to be because of, uh, because of the fact that I got more than one version of Project 64. That might be the issue. So, yeah, th this, could be, I... this, this could be tough. I don't see how that could be the issue, because I only had one emulator when I was experiencing those problems years back, and that wasn't when I was recording or anything, but I'm just saying in general. So I don't think that's the case. Let's get some deco sticks, I think I'll get three, that'll do. And I'm already at the deco tree. I mean, to be honest, you're not that far behind me, and as we've already said, you've already planned out your gold skull tiller route. I'm doing that blind, so... In fact, I haven't really done much practice of this point at all, except for, well, this very... Yeah, yeah, game. yeah, because before we started, you said that you were going to... You were just going to go for the first 50 gold sculptures that you see, so... For the... Yeah, so, let me go ahead and tell our subscribers. For the 50 gold sculptures that I'm going for, I'm actually going to go for those... I'm going to go for most of them within the dungeons and temples. While the rest of them, I think I've... I plan that where I'm going to get those in particular. I'm already getting this bloody message from Navi, and Navi can be such a pain. Not as much as Fi. I have a video about that. Oh my! God. Link in the card if it's on I, my channel. I don't. I don't know if I've seen if that if I've seen it, but you and I have talked about who's worse on on I think Facebook. So yeah. Well, that video had pretty bad webcam quality because it was my first webcam before I had the webcam I have now. Oh, but okay. it was kind of like a review kind of thing that was unscripted. It was it was actually a really good video. It did pretty well, but the quality of it, it leaves a little bit to be desired. But I tried to do as best as I could, and I also dressed up as Link for the video. Just for a bit of added flair. So, grab the... Okay, you're not going to grab the ladder then. Look at that. Okay. By the way, as we've already said, we're not speedrunners of any kind, so don't expect glitches or anything. We're trying to be as fair as possible because yeah, yeah. I can, I could easily. That's actually something we discussed. I'm not allowed to jump on top of Dodongo's cabin to get the heart piece because uh, uh, Blue here doesn't know the sweet spot for jumping there, so I'm going to get that the legit way. Just thought I'd chuck that out there. Okay. By the way, while you were while you were talking to the subscribers, I actually got hit by that boulder unnoticed as I was getting I was going to that chest. I got the I opened up the chest and I got I got the sword now. So, but actually I'm not gonna enter 
uh, the great Deku tree just yet because I have I actually have enough rupees to buy something off, off something else off the shop. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that first. I'm already in the Deku tree. In fact, I'm just I'm talking to the first Deku scrub right now. I'm blasting through, mate. I played this game like crazy. Button mash, button mash, button mash. Stop talking, please. Thank you for pooping out that heart. Okay. All right. What am I gonna buy here? Ah. Deku notes, right? Hmm. Oh, what are you planning? I'm not planning anything. I I've been collecting rupees just to buy more stuff. This is okay. Uh, I'm just gonna grab it as I attack stuff. I mean, I guess Deku nuts could be helpful early on, but you get them in the dungeon anyway if you cut if you defeat well, Deku. Well, yeah, the Deku nuts really, so. and Deku seeds you can just get at the dungeon itself. But I thought I'd purchase the the, the stuff off the shop. So I took damage from that boulder, but it shouldn't be too bad. I only lost a quarter of a heart, so. Did you see that, guys? I shot that thing without having problems with my C-stick. Fuck no, I didn't see that sweat. boulder at all. Pardon my no, French, I wasn't talking about you. I, I just shot the thing. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I wasn't talking about the boulder that you got hit by. I was saying about my bloody C-stick, because of, during Chaos Edition, when effects were not going off, every time I tried to shoot, my janky box-like uh, analog stick was causing issues. Because this is a proper controller, Oh, that wasn't having issues. Okay. Yeah, I'll just sneak past All right, what, really quick. what I was going to say was that I was going to actually apologize to my subscribers. Because just like in the Super Mario 64 games that I've done. Uh, Super Donkey Kong 64 and also Last Impact. And even online with you, my good friend. How do I say I am going to be using profanity during some points of, of the game. So... Please don't mind that. Uh, please don't mind that, folks. But that—that's just me. I'm quite the swearer, if you will. Yeah, I mean, I don't tend to swear so much. I mean, Chaos Edition was obviously the sole exception. Right, that's, right. Because because well, Chaos you Edition did... was a load of rubbish. Yeah, yeah. Because you did uh, you did swear during some parts of the Chaos Editions for both Mario and this game. So there you go. I do try to avoid the F word, but. That game made me drop the F-bomb quite late in, actually. I didn't drop it that often, but once it got to, like, part 35 or something onwards, it was like, yeah, this th this game needs to get verbally slaughtered. <laughs> I think the worst I go is, like, crap or shit. So, there we go. Already set them. Now, watch this video get demonetized for a bit. No, I uh, let's not let's not forget. We we need to make sure we're careful with with Nintendo since they're strict with the music for for, for this game and, and and most most games because well you know how Nintendo is with bloody copyright and I I'm gonna I'm gonna yep. bring this up and I'm sorry that I did but this is one, it's one of the main reasons why you had to do that rant on Nintendo and yes I'm bringing up your where's the fair use video because you were really pissed off link in the card <laughs> anyway I'm finally inside the great Deku tree now so yeah I've, I'm already in the basement oh wow. <laughs> wow you're that far ahead of me jeez oh that was a bit janky looking water right there that was weird uh, huh, now <laughs> i i think i would have i think i would have been better off saying this at the end when when we defeated ganon but hell if if i wanted to challenge you in a sonic game i think i'd beat you easily so yeah yeah i would i would i can definitely see it. well actually it depends on the sonic game if it's any of the classic ones then yeah i'm screwed oh we, yeah we well m more than likely it, it would be a mega drive game because the others i'm not sure well i haven't played them that often so yeah you would definitely destroy me <laughs> i mean m maybe if, maybe if it was the game Boy advanced then i don't know but never played those ones too. oh okay okay so those wouldn't count then come here you 
Actually, no, I have dabbled in Sonic Adventure 2, because I do have a GBA cartridge of that somewhere, but I haven't played it much at all. That was my controller being weird. Oh, shoot, I can't even skip this. Because I just got the first Deku scrub, and I can't even s skip his text. Button mash, button mash. That's when I was singing that. I'm already in the water room, where you have to go... Uh, under the uh, spike oh, thing. Oh, wait, do I need to go? No, I don't. What am I? I'm, I'm just wasting my time here, because this room with the compass, I do believe. I I'm wasting my time here. Well, there is a gold skull tiller in that room. That's uh, all I went in there for. No, no, that's the... That's one of the other um, rooms. No, that is the room of the compass. Cause oh, oh no, no, compass. no, 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 you're right. You're, you're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah, this is the room I'm supposed to be, because the fairy slingshot... Is supposed to be here. The room, yeah, you're oh, right. The room okay. of the compass is the has the gold sculpture inside. Sorry. <laughs> I think I need. I think I need to get a timer to put on the screen or on my desktop somewhere when we're recording. Because as far as I can tell from when we said go, looking at the corner timer on the, you know, desktop, I think we've been going on for about ten minutes already. I mean, the recording says about 25, but we started... Yeah, 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 like yeah, minutes. but technically speaking, it, it, it's been... I, I think you're right, it might have been like 10 minutes or so. Yeah, so... Yeah, I, yeah, because as I'm recording this on OBS, it, it, it's been 25 minutes already, but, but since we're editing the unnecessary parts off, it, it's alright. Yeah, so this episode may be a little bit off in terms, in terms of the timing, but we'll, we'll refine it. I mean, we're both going to be stopping recording at pretty much the same time anyways, but just, as a general rule, the episodes will be roughly half an hour long. But we had intros to do, so... Kind of the one-off. That's how part ones on my channel normally are anyway. They're always like the one-offs to the rule that I normally have for recording. Normally on final episodes as well. They always tend to be a little bit longer than I like to. Maybe I need to refine how I explain... Uh, games and controls at the beginning of every video. I should have nailed that. You dick. You're ruining what? my speed run. I'll have to reset now. Okay. Damn it. Whoop, whoop. Okay, I'm in the room right, with right. the with the compass and the gold sculpture. So I'm just gonna get the. Oh damn it! No. So I'm just gonna get the gold sculpture out of the way, and then I'll quickly get out of this room. Out of my way, you big skull wall I wasted a deco stick because I tried to backwalk, but I didn't turn around, so I ended up backwalking in the wrong direction, and I lost my deco stick because of it. By the way, I'm almost at the boss. This is probably the quickest time I've ever done for this dungeon. Where's the... Here it is. This really is going to test my knowledge. Right, I'm not going to do the stupid speedrun strat on trying to get that my stick lighted on that torch up in the side there. I'm just going to push the block, do it normally. Because every time I try to do it, I never get it right. So why would I do it now when I've got such a... Oh, I've got... Oh, I've got to push the block down now, don't mind. I was about to say, I've got such a lead. So I might as well, but... Too late now. <laughs> okay. Alright, now I'm in the water. That's a sweet one, Strap. But I actually want the health. Okay. So. And thankfully I'm picking up some more um deco sticks, so that in turn is good. Wait till you watch my footage, you're gonna see me jump off the sculpture. Wee! I just, I just just I just rolled through that freaking nut and it didn't hit me because I just rolled right through it. Did you hear what I said? I I I, I attacked yeah. that gold sculpture and I jumped to grab its token. Yeah, that's what I did. Because otherwise you'll need to wait until you have the boomerang and oh, why okay. should you have to wait for that? Uh, what do wait I have minute, to I do? Oh yeah, three, I have to... Right? Okay. Yeah. I just remembered, I just set my... I've set my R button to ZR because it's, uh, it's more comfortable. Because, you know, I have like an Xbox slash uh, Switch controller. By the way, I'm in the... I'm, I'm, I'm fighting Goma. Oh, shoot. I'm too close to that second Deku scrub. No, get away from there, Blue. Jeez. Hi, Divide Eye. Smile for the slingshot. 
Did you know that Goma likes division? <laughs> <laughs> because if I jump attack and then stab, I'm going to be divided by zero. I'm, I won't use that technique. Dude, what's what's <laughs> what's the issue with math here? Because Goma's eyeball is a is a division sign. <laughs> she likes her math. Oh man. Oh my god, it gets so yeah, annoying that you red, cannot skip and these. Date. Hold on, hold on. Right, I'm saying it's so annoying that you cannot skip these cutscenes when Navi is bloody talking to you. <laughs> uh, I've already beaten Goma. <laughs> Oh my God! Wow, you. I, I don't. I don't even know how. <laughs> I. I have no idea how far ahead you are on me. Well, well, part. It's because one, you. You were repeatedly mashing the buttons to speed through the text, and two, it's because I've been. Why did I miss that? My God. Two, because I've been buying more items with 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 uh, rupees that I've been collecting. So. Yeah, I. I that, that just seems like a waste of time to me, to be honest, because you're gonna get the items regardless. Just by breaking pots or killing enemies, so it's like, just get the sword, get the shield, get into the dungeon, get the gold skull turtles, beat the boss, get the Kikiri emerald, and leave Mido to cry. Oh my God! How did you hit me again when I hit you? Why are you having so much trouble? I don't know, man. You know, I kind of wish this is 3D Master Quest, so I can say no, so I can skip the story and just get the. Kiri's emerald and bugger off. But. Yeah, well, I don't, I, I don't have a 2D, I don't have a 3DS. I had a 2DS and my my copy broke. I, 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 I had, I had Smash for the 3DS, but I lost it. So there's just no way. I think there is an Ocarina of Time 3D value pack that comes with a two with. It's basically a green and yellow 2DS with Ocarina of Time 3D pre-installed, and I think it was about. On offer for like, I don't know what it is in dollars, but it was like forty to sixty quid. By the way, I'm in the UK, he's in the US, so we're yeah, overseas. Uh, yeah, just, yeah. Just for the people who haven't seen online. Yeah, you're, you're you're from the you're from the UK, and I live in America, so. Right now, I'm just seeing the creation of the world. Actually, we didn't exactly mention uh, where where we are in uh, Super Mario 64. Why the hell did you hit me? I was trying to attack you with my sword. Fuck off, man. I, th I think we mentioned it in passing. Like, just as like a throwaway comment to fill the void. Speaking of the void, Hyrule's about to become into existence. Where am I going? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm How do I keep segueing like this? Uh, I think we've got this about. Way. Let's see. All right, get I in there. I feel like we've you. got about eight minutes left before it's time up. So like when we reach about forty minutes in the recording. Well, that's what it says to my audacity, anyway. Okay. All right. I think now. we've got about eight minutes left. Like I said, if we cut, if we cut it short or later. We're, it's just because we had a little bit of talking to do before we started to okay. establish the rules of the verses. Okay, I'm just pushing the block. Oh no, I gotta push it one more time. I'm just pushing the block over there. Oh, I, m I missed the gold sculpture. Let me go ahead and get it. Okay, because this is actually the last one I'm gonna get uh, in in this one of the of the 50 that I'm getting overall. Because the, the the last one requires the uh, the boomerang, and that's gonna make me backtrack, so I'm not gonna do that. It also requires bombs to get into the room in the first place. Oh, right, right. That's another thing. Yeah, yeah. So no, I'm not gonna waste my time backtracking to come here just to get that fourth and final gold sculpture that's in this dungeon. I don't think so. Oh, that's right. I needed yeah, the block because it... of the the torch over there. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, it's entirely pointless, really. Especially for the verses. I mean, unless it's like, you can't seem to find a gold school tiller for whatever reason, and that's like, the one you might need to hit the 50. Maybe, but that's like a very... They, you have like 50 other gold school tillers that can fill that void. And I just realised, I was mashing A throughout that entire cutscene of the goddesses creating Hyrule, and yet you can't skip any text there, so... I don't know why I was mashing A that entire time, it's just a habit. Probably hear it. I mean, I'll just put it to the microphone here. My buttons are clicky. Okay. Talk to you if I can. 
thank you very much. Okay, I'm getting close oh, what, to the Are you about myself. to fight Goma? Yeah, and then you've got to sit through this entire cutscene, which gives me a little bit more time to do stuff. Button mash, button mash, button mash. Come on. Look, Decatree, I know you're going to die, but if I want to bring you back, I can just start a new game and not actually make any progress because that would actually be the ideal way to beat this game. Because if you don't do the quest, Ganon can't do nothing, and the world is fine, so... Yeah. Beating, starting a new file and not touching it is actually the best way to play Ocarina of Time. <laughs> if you think about it. Have you realized that? I, I'm sorry. I, I, I got distracted because I was checking the the ba the battery of my of my uh, of my tablet because we're, we're on we're on Facebook Messenger as we're doing as we're doing this. So and at times we might we might stick to using Skype as well. So yeah, but that's not going to affect your guys' quality because we're recording both our um, sounds individually but with Audacity. So. I just tapped the freaking ZR button to do a freaking lunge. What is this hat in time? <laughs> I just I just came to a complete stop and I went up my shield. I was trying to do a freaking belly slide. I don't know what mindset I'm in right now. What is the matter with me? Okay, uh, just to let you know, I just oh. defeated Goma and it took me four strikes to do it. What, four jump attacks? Yeah. Oh, I was spinning. I'm about to get my ocarina. Hey, ocarina! <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's get out of here, and well, now I gotta go to that cutscene with Ganondorf appearing when the Deku Tree explains it. I wonder if anyone's, like, made a mod to the, or a ROM hack of this game where all it does is that when Soraya gives you the ocarina, she teaches you her song to make, so that you don't have to come back to the forest soon after meeting Zelda and completely nullifying the emotional impact of this very cutscene on the bridge. Because everyone complains about it, but I don't think anyone's made, like, a, such a minor ROM hack that actually does that. Because normally people make ROM hacks that are very simple just to like you know streamline the game a little bit because it's kind of a weird arbitrary thing and it kind of nullifies itself it's like final fantasy 6 where people have like fixed the actual blind status so that when you get inflicted with blind it's not just that oh you got cool shades nothing's affected you actually actually does get lowered like in the uh, later releases Are you are you sitting through the creation of Hyrule right now? Uh, y y yeah, that's where I am right now. I'm at the cutscene where the Deku Tree is explaining about Ganondorf. And we're not that far behind then. Ever since we actually began, you've been pretty much at a steady pace behind me the whole time. Because once you go past that cutscene, you've got to get the uh, ocarina. And unless even if I do make it to Hyrule F Castle, when we have to save and quit, I'm not going to be able to do anything. So. I'm a little bit skeptical on what I want to do at oh, this point now. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, fine. you know what? I I think I think in the next episode, I think we'll both go to Hyrule Castle from there. I'm just gonna see if I can try to uh, how do I say it? Go for that um, upgrade for the Deku seeds, and then maybe end it from there. I, I'm not sure. Well, we're coming up the time right now, like in about two minutes, so by the time you get out of that cutscene, that'll probably be about it. I'm just getting rid of the owl right now, but when we start, you've got to, you got the owl and oh, the, Oh, okay, um, oh, okay, sorry. Sorry, Ocarina. God damn it! I keep saying no to this bloody owl. I got trapped. Sorry. <laughs> kept saying no, and the owl was in an infinite loop. Okay, so so you're saying I'm not that far behind you? I'm, I'm just going in the middle of this of the cutscene. Yeah, like I said, I just got rid of the owl. 
Okay. Uh, okay, well, we're Probably getting pretty work. close to the, to the half hour, so you should probably just stop from there. I guess I might not have time to do the to do do what I was saying. So, in the next episode, I'll go for that I'll go for that upgrade for Deku seeds. Oh yeah, and also the Deku sticks because I should be able to get the upgrade for the Deku sticks as well in the Lost Woods. Well, I am trying to make it to Hyrule Castle Town at least so I can smash some pots, get that gold school tiller, and potentially, you know, get some money so I don't have to do that later. Just max out my wallet early. Okay. In the last few seconds that I have. Oh, okay. Because probably yeah. when you get out of that cutscene, we're probably up to time. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm just about it. I'm just about at the end of the cutscene, so we'll just end it from here. Once, once I go through it, I'm almost done. All right. Tell, tell me when you're able to pause, and then I'll pause immediately. Oh, I was expecting to get way more money out of that than I did. Well, I got the gold school tiller at least. So. <laughs> did you get all three I of them one. or what? No, I got all three that I could get in the uh, in. Um, the Deku tree. Well, well the that's what I meant. All, all, all three of them, because the, the the fourth one. There's four, but you can't get the fourth one without the boomerang and the bomb. So. Yeah, my fourth one is the one in the pot room, and now I'm in. Oh, actually. Yeah, well, I, like I said, I'm not gonna office. I'm not gonna get the fourth one because I'm just gonna end up backtracking. Okay. I'm give, just about give done me with the, the dog. Hold on, I'm just about done with the cutscene. I'm I, I got the spiritual stone just about now. No, no, why is the dog not locked onto me? I walked into the dog. <laughs> I want to get this in quick. Come on. Oh, okay, okay. So you're going for that heart piece with the dog, and you have to bring it to that lady. Yeah, I'm trying to get it in before you are able to pause. Yes. I talked to her. Yes, I got the heart piece. Oh, good job. Okay, so you got you got your first heart piece <laughs> of this of this race. So that's good. Okay. All right. Don't move, cause I'm just about done with the with the cutscene. As soon as you pause, I can pause. That, that, that I thought that that's how it works. <laughs> Why am I going around this way? Okay. It you know what? I'm just gonna stop moving anyway. There's okay. nothing else I can do at this point. Stay, stay right there. Don't move. Don't move. I've paused. I'm just gonna. No. Whoops. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> Goodbye go. to the great Deku tree. Okay, I just have to make one more confrontation with Mido, and I'll be able to stop from there. Just save and quit, and you'll get past him immediately. Because when you reload, you'll be back in your house. Actually, no, I don't even have to... Oh, oh okay, so I do a... Okay, so th that's it. That's it. The cutscene's done. Yep. We can stop now. <laughs> I'm just glad I got that heart piece in right before you finished the cutscene. Okay. So I'm quite ahead now. All right, so let's go ahead and say goodbye to our fans and see what we're going to plan for the <laughs> next episode. Yeah, so uh, that's f thank you for watching episode one of our Ocarina of Time Versus. Uh, it's been interesting so far. I don't know how I got ahead during the intro, but I've done, I don't know if mashing the button during the cutscene saves frames or not, but I, was ju I just mash out of habit. I assumed that's what you would have been doing, but... Uh, yeah, um, we're both gonna, every time that we restart, uh, the file, we're gonna restart the race exactly where, no. I oh, would discuss that in between videos, but I'm pretty sure that when we restart the recording from where we were, we restart where we actually ended off the episode. So, saves backtracking then. Yeah. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, and uh, yeah, check out both our channels. Episode 1's gone on both our channels, but episode 2 will be on Blue's channel. So, please be subscribe to him to be notified whenever that comes out, and whenever we record again. See you guys then. Bye.